And mm -hmm. after uh, Lal Bahadur Shastri passed away mysteriously in Tashkent <laughs> again, in that uh, special city, uh, the the uh, the party had put uh, Indira Gandhi, you know, in charge as the new prime minister. And in order to consolidate her position after splitting the party, uh, mm -hmm. she engaged in an understanding with the CPI that the CPI would support her in case of a no confidence move, uh, motion, as long as they got to plant their assets in important places, in the media, in academia, in the judiciary. And that was part of that whole committed, you know, mm -hmm. committed bureaucracy, committed media, committed bu uh, judiciary. And uh, okay. Nurul Hassan, Nur, uh, Sayyid Nurul Hassan was the CPM, a CPI ideologue who was made Minister of Education. And he was, uh, he had many disciples, Romila Thapar, you know, Irfan <laughs> Habib, Dian Jha, all these, you know, mm -hmm. so-called eminent historians. And that's mm -hmm. where they... Uh, they all started off, you know, they learned at the feet of Rajni Palmedat, and then they were given uh, a very privileged position through this, you know, these machinations. Mm -hmm. But uh, even if you look at uh, articles and analyses written during those times, so for example, uh, Hiranmay Karlekar, he's a prolific author and former editor of the Pioneer and the Hindustan Times. Uh, he was a Neiman Feller in Harvard in 1967. So, uh, journalism fellow. Uh, he wrote an article for the Harvard Crimson, so the Harvard student newspaper, analyzing the 1967 uh, Lok Sabha elections, mm -hmm. in which he says that uh, you know, there's a CPI, there's a CPM, but very few voters are going to vote for them because they know that these parties have an extraterritorial loyalty, that they're more loyal to Moscow and Beijing than they are to India. 